What's up, Beer Geeks? I'm Chris Cohen. I'm Scott Fielder. And we are Advanced Cicerones and Beer Scholars. We're here with another side-by-side classic style comparison. Today we've got Kalamazoo Stout from Bells, which is listed as a classic example on the BJCP style guidelines for American Stout. And then we've got a Foreign Extra Stout, which is from Cooper's in Australia. And so... What uh, what uh, what are the main differences that we would be looking for here, Scott? As we've said in previous videos with American style beers, you're definitely going to be getting a little bit higher of a level of bitterness. Um, you're definitely going to get super duper roasty, roasty character in both of these. Maybe a touch more in the American version. Maybe you know, maybe a little bit more kind of a of a smoother kind of roast character in foreign extra stout, not as maybe burnt right. uh, or acrid. Obviously, if you smell any sort of American kind of hop character, you're going to want to lean towards American stout. Whereas if you get anything from foreign extra, it's going to be probably some sort of English hop or right. something like that, right. but probably not as prominent of a hop character. Yep. If for some, you know, if for some reason you're getting any sort of diacetyl, you're going to mm. be getting something like foreign extra stout. There's a low option for that. Right. Probably not going to be in this one, I would guess. But uh, if that happens to be in the example you get. Yep. Then that's another good uh, little good bit indicator. of little bit of butteriness, yep. which and then you get from some of those English yeasts. Right, that just exactly. Kinda, they conk out before they process that exactly. stuff out. And then fruit, and then the level of fruitiness for an extra stout allows for a relatively higher, I think, low to medium in BJCP is the fruitiness level. Yeah. Um, and American stout, pretty you know, relatively low. Yeah, for something like that. So, so let's see what we got. So here. Coopers, yeah, Coopers, for an extra stout. So by the name, you might think this is a bigger beer, but the ABVs on these are pretty much similar. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Less than half a percent. Yeah. yeah. Separated between the two. So. so you're not going to be able to tell from one of them being highly alcoholic or coming across as imperial or something like that. So right. don't let the name fool you. For an extra stout doesn't mean it's imperial. Yeah, definitely getting that smooth roasted character. It's still there. You know, it still smells like it's a darker malt, but there's not sort of that acrid or burnt yeah. edge to it. Right. It's not it doesn't smell burnt. The the kind of the 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 roastiness and the level of sort of roast bitterness is is more what I think of as like a maybe a, a porter that's not you know, it's not burnt, it's not dry and ashy and acrid. Right. You know, it's not finishing sharp. Right. Still it's, right, still finishes dry, but yeah. not again that sort of sharp roasted bitterness. Yeah. That you can get that you can well and also that would combine with the hop character from american hops yeah. and that kind of treatment i would say the balance is pretty even almost leaning a touch sweet yes and definitely getting some fruity impression here mm -hmm. yeah definitely some some ester character from that yeast which uh yeah presumably kind of like a, a, is a british yeast probably yeah probably something like that and definitely getting something along the lines of like a uh, little bit of like a darker cherry, mm -hmm. maybe a little touch of plum. Almost like a cherry cola kind of deal. Yes, that's yeah. a great one. I would definitely agree with that. All right, so going into the American style now, we would expect, as Americans tend to do, take some other style, amp it up with bigger hot bitterness, bigger roastiness. Cleaner yeast character. Cleaner yeast character. Those are like the kind of American hits Steal, steal someone else's style, that's what, yep. make it more bitter, and, make it American. and clean. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you yeah. can just smell it right away. It's like, uh, it's got that burnt. Yeah, it's really, really, yeah. I mean, this is like... It's got a lot more roastiness going yeah. on. Yeah. Finish it sharper, drier, mm -hmm. a little more bitter. Yep. Maybe even a touch more, a um, little bit more, seems more highly carbonated, too. Yeah, I was actually a. I was I was noticing that this is a twist top. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 not the freshest, freshest, freshest example. Yeah, that could be where maybe some of the fruit characters coming from could be yeast, mm -hmm. could be a little bit of age. Yeah, and yeah. Some of the malt. Shift. When the BJCP guidelines use the word Venus for for an extra stout, meaning it can have, I think. Sort of this sherry-like mm -hmm. uh, characteristic, which exactly. usually I would think of as being age-related, but they they have it in there as a potential uh, characteristic for foreign extra stout. I would love to try some very fresh examples. I mean, we don't have a lot of these in the U.S., right? So uh, I'd be interested to try some fresh ones and see if I'm getting any Venus character out of this. 
Of course, yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, how many styles of those do we wish yeah. we just had fresh ones of? You know, the BJCP obviously is an American organization, and, you know, although, of course, they talk to people all over the world and have their um, style guideline definitions checked out by people who are experts all over the world, I do know that sometimes things creep in like, oh, yeah, you know, we think for an extra stout is often it has a Venus quality. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, well, maybe it's because all the ones you're having are old. Yeah, that, that's a good point. You know. Yeah. They're just human. Yeah. I'm trying to, again, hop character for me is tough in these, but. Yeah. Definitely a touch of something. I would say there's actually a little bit more of like a touch of something kind of um, almost a little dank in uh-huh. here. A yeah. little, just a little. T- oh, the Kalamazoo. Tiny bit. Yeah. I'm saying I would, I would say piney. Yeah, it's got the classic piney American mm-hmm. hop. The other one, I don't really get a lot of hop uh, aroma at all, but of course it's also kind of old. Yeah. So that's fair. This is what I'm going to say is having poured this and we're knowing which is which it's kind of clear. Like they seem very different. Yes. I think in a blind tasting, this would be tough. Yes. I think this is, this is where if you are studying and you are putting in the work to know these, it yeah. will, it will seem a lot easier. Oh, totally. It's not one that's just going to, you're going to run into some pair, some side by sides where it's just going to be crystal clear and you're not going to, feel like you need to study it this one you're going to want to put in a little bit of work and some time and actually yep. have them side by side like we do to get yep. those differences do your reps yeah pump that iron and uh yeah i mean the highlight here i mean the giveaway rather is sort of like for sure if i tasted this kalamazoo and i was being asked like what is this black beer here's your multiple choice options and i got that piney thing i'd be like boom this is clearly an american stout right it hits all the highlights for american stout it's like fairly bitter it's got the pine um and it finishes kind of sharp it's got that like pretty intense roastiness whereas the foreign extra stout which is a style that at least americans are and i think probably most people are less familiar with you know that one really just finishes sweeter it's a it's a balanced a little bit Mm -hmm. more sweet it's got a lot more fruitiness yeah mostly yeast ester you would think yeah um and i think those are the giveaways yeah i don't have anything else to add that's perfect yeah well cheers then cheers